Read the disclaimer. Doofus. And please contact us through this email address with questions or fan art. Thank you for your support. <laughs>
with his sagging shoulders and disproportionately long legs. Though, in spite of this wonkiness, his articulation is actually pretty good. Getting some dynamic shots out of the figure isn't easy, but at the same time, it's not impossible either. And I'm confident in saying that this is the best head sculpt that we've ever had on a cup figure from Hasbro. Mostly because I could describe every prior attempt with the JonTron reference. That one didn't age quite so well. Besides, isn't it kind of fair to point out that Cup was always this ugly in the movie? As far as additional legs up that this figure has over most Cup figures, it actually has light piping. Though, unfortunately, it's not incredibly strong light piping. And as far as other negatives go, there is a huge amount of cable on the back, but honestly, not an issue to me. And while the gun doesn't have an exact blast effect port, it does have the ability to use one if you jam it on there hard enough. And now that he's in robot mode, he can also properly hold the Energon treat box, so he can attract Sharkticons and Repugnite to his location, because all it takes is a shake. Speaking of accessories that exist for the sole purpose of recreating specific scenes, his arms and legs are detachable. Because extra play options, I guess? Honestly, I don't really tend to give a rat's ass about whether or not a figure can recreate a specific scene. I didn't really care about it with Cliff Jumper, I don't really care about it here. But hey, play options are an important part of my reviews. I genuinely have to score the figure based on what I'm paying for it against what I'm getting out of it in return for my money. But another element of figures that lends to their overall score is their articulation. Maya, will you take care of that, please? No, not until you start paying me. Oh, come on, are you trying to force continuity into this series? It doesn't work with toy reviews. People come here to see me review the toys, not to see a f***ing storyline. Pay me or I unionize every robot on the planet. Okay, two things. A, that would cause a robot apocalypse, and B, I already paid you! Oh. Wait, was that what all of the PayPal notifications were? Now I feel a little bit stupid. Maya? Yes? Stop reading the comment section and get the hell to work! In robot mode, Cup possesses a ball-jointed head, universal shoulders, bicep swivel, elbow bend, arching back, waist swivel, universal hips, thigh swivel, knee bend, ankle tilt, and toe bend. So overall, yeah, the articulation's not shabby, and you can get him in some really, really cool poses. Kind of a shame, then, that he's too ugly to look cool in any of those poses, but bleh, whatever. Anyways, let's do some size comparisons. Here is a Studio Series 86 Cups robot mode next to Ratbat, Grimlock, Hot Rod, Cyclonus, Huffer, Lugnut, Shockwave, a standard Kutama, a standard can of sparkling water, and a Fraud Side. So overall, yeah, I'd say that Cup is the only deluxe from the SS86 line that is good. Then again, I don't own any of the others, so I can't say that's my definitive take on the deluxes. Though based on aesthetics alone, I will concede that he may not be for everyone. But he is good enough for me, and that's all that kind of matters in regards to this channel is my opinion. Whatever. I mean, unless I'm doing a crossover video. We're getting way off track here. Just make sure he doesn't get his hands on any super powerful firearms. Mark my words, the South shall rise again. So overall, is SS86 Cup worth adding to your collection? Yeah, the mechanical details molded into this figure are on point. The proportions might be a bit wonky and the face a bit weird, but at least they're not off-puttingly ugly like SS86 Blur. And overall, he's just a solid figure with an intriguing transformation. So I'm just gonna give him an 8.5 out of 10. Sorry if that displeases anyone, but it is genuinely how I feel about this figure.
It's so good. And now that all of that's out of the way, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, of course, comment down below, and if you're feeling really nice, click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to tell you when the next episode is coming out. And with all that being said, this is Firebite27, over and out.